All right, hello people of science. We're going to talk about sex-linked traits, not the same as sexually transmitted diseases. That's something else that we'll talk about later on. Okay, so what we're looking at right here is a picture of all of the chromosomes that are inside a normal human cell, which should be 46 total. And you'll see that some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. We're going to focus for this particular part on the sex chromosomes, the ones that are at the very end. Now, as you saw before, humans have 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes. By the way, it's in parentheses, so you don't need to write this. These are the ones that determine pretty much all of your traits. But that last pair that we have are called your sex chromosomes. Those are the ones that actually determine, are you male, or are you female? Females are XX. This means they have two identical sex chromosomes there, the X chromosomes. Males are XY, so they have different sex chromosomes. We'll take a look at what those look like in a second there. But just remember, this is the female symbol worth writing, and they have two of the same sex chromosomes, XX. Males, however, have the X and then the Y, and you might even notice the difference right there. So what I'm looking at here are two karyotypes. This is just the arrangement of the chromosomes. Remember, largest to smallest. What I'm looking at on the left, that for sure is a normal uh, male. I don't see any extra chromosomes, but I have the X and the Y, so that means it's a guy. This one on the right, I don't see any extra chromosomes, but I would get the sex chromosomes, and they have two X. So 22 of your normal autosomal chromosomes, and then those last pair are your sex chromosomes. Male on the left, female on the right. Okay, so let's look at the sex chromosomes. The sex chromosomes contain genes that determine our gender, whether or not we're going to be male or female. And the Y chromosome contains genes that determine maleness. There you can see the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. What you should immediately notice is that the X chromosome is much, much, much larger than the Y chromosome. That's because we all start off like physically as female. If you want more information, click right up here. We start off life physically as female. The part I want you to write down is that the X chromosome is much, much larger than the Y. That's because it doesn't take a lot of genes to actually divert you from going down the normal female path to becoming essentially male. There's not a lot of difference between us. Of course, this is also why men have nipples. There you can see the size difference, that's the Y chromosome on the left and the X on the right. Y, super, super, super small in comparison to the X. There's not a lot on the Y that it takes to, de to divert someone into becoming male. So any gene that appears on a sex chromosome we would say is sex-linked. So we have a lot more on the X chromosomes. We have a lot more what is called X-linked traits. A lot more that are uh, only associated with uh, the X chromosome. More on that later. You don't need to write the slide down. So here's the problem with men, which is probably a sentence many of you were waiting for me to utter. Men are a lot more likely to have a sex-linked disorder than women are. Well, that raises the question, why? Well, you have to think of it as men have only one copy of the gene. Think of it, if it's defective, there's no backup. It's like, you know, if you're driving in a car and you get a flat tire, you want to put on the spare. Well, the problem is with men, there is no spare. You have only one X chromosome, whereas women have two X chromosomes, so even if one has a faulty gene on it, odds are pretty good that at least the other one is going to be better. But you're not rare, You're not going to very often find that uh, you're going to have to have two defective copies of the gene. It's like, oh, I did a flat tire, and then you put on the spare, and the spare is also flat. Odds of that are not very good. So men don't have a backup. Men much more likely to have a sex-linked disorder than women are. Again, don't need to write this. So since a sex-linked trait occurs on the X chromosome, a dad can't actually give his, this trait to his son, like colorblindness. So if a man is colorblind, it's not his dad's fault. Because remember, the man can either pass either the X or the Y chromosome. If you pass on the X chromosome, it's going to be female. If you pass on the Y chromosome, they're going to be male. So a man would only give the Y chromosome to his son, which would not have the gene. So if a guy is colorblind, blame the mom. There you can see the men are donating either the X or the Y, and that determines gender. If it's an X, it becomes female. If it's a Y, it becomes male. Mother is going to donate the X either way there. So, a faulty gene, a man can pass on to his child, but only to his female children, only to his daughters. All right, so this part you're actually going to copy down on, on the bottom of the previous page. Females can be one of three things. They can be normal, which is they have two normal copies of the X chromosome. They can be a carrier, which means they still aren't affected by it. They don't have whatever disease or trait we're talking about, but they are a carrier of it or that it can actually be affected, which doesn't happen very often. So, females, normal, carrier, or affected, normal, X bid B, X bid B, carrier, X bid B, X little b, and affected, X little b, X little b. Men, however, can only be one of two things. They can be normal, 
x bit b y, where they can be affected, x little b y. Remember, no backup there. So, women, one of three things, normal, carrier, or affected, men, normal, or affected. Now, there's a whole bunch of sex-linked diseases that are out there. I'm going to put a link on the, uh, in the description to some of these. They range from pretty not that bad with something like color blindness to some pretty severe ones like Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Lesh Nyhan syndrome is a, a pretty horrific one. Uh, you're more than welcome to spend some time looking at any of these others. But remember, it's men who are more likely to have these than women because men have only one copy of the X chromosome. And if they have a mistake, there's no backup. Women, much less likely, not, not impossible, but less likely because they have two copies.